Leonard Roberts, the actor who played D.L. Hawkins in the television series Heroes, not too long ago explained in an article on Variety how he was dismissed from Heroes after one season. There was almost immediate tension and hostility from his co-star, Ali Larder, who played his on-screen wife, Nikki Sanders, and, in Roberts' own words, showrunner and series creator Tim Crean seemed indifferent to this conflict. So, in the eighth episode of season two, titled Four Months Ago, D.L. was shot by a stranger in the chest. The man with the ability to phase through solid objects presumably the last person in the series who should have had a problem with getting shot in the chest, is killed by an unnamed jilted dancer. Hastily ushering DL out of the series never made much sense to me, at least not in this manner. I always took Tim Crean's words about slowly phasing characters out of the series and introducing new regulars to replace them at face value. Lots of characters from the first couple of seasons came and went, some in just as puzzling ways as DL. So while I never did think it made much sense for a man who could turn immaterial to be killed by regular bullets that he could see coming, I assume this was the series moving in the direction Tim Kring originally wanted to go. But now that I see that there was, frankly, childish behavior from Roberts' co-star that seems to be the root of his dismissal from the series, I'm even more confused. Because Roberts didn't have to be fired. If Ali Larder couldn't stand the man, then don't put them in scenes together. The characters already had a strained marriage, with DL in prison when the series began. DL had been arrested and imprisoned for the death of a security guard, who was either killed by his wife wife's alternate personality Jessica or his gang that he used to run with. I'm not sure. That was always a little fuzzy. Then during the events of season one, DL used his Kitty Pride-esque powers to escape prison to help his estranged wife and son. But even though he sided with the other protagonists against the forces of evil in the season one finale, he would have still been a fugitive from the law. Yes, earlier in season one, Jessica confessed to the crimes DL was charged with, apparently leading to DL's freedom. But I always assumed Daniel Linderman had something to do with this. And with him dead, at the hands of DL in the season 1 finale, it's possible DL would have become a fugitive once again. So instead of firing the man because his on-screen wife was a hypocrite, they could have just had DL go on the run after the showdown at Kirby Plaza. This way, you can still keep Leonard Roberts in the series, but you don't have the drama between him and Allie Larder clouding up the set. She films over here, he films over there, they don't even have to be around each other. This shouldn't be necessary, as I've heard about many on-screen couples who are less than enthused to have to work together, and you didn't have to put one half of the couple on the run to keep them both working. But this would have been preferable to the asinine way DL was written out of the show and the way Leonard Roberts was fired. So what would DL do while on the run from the authorities? It would be interesting for him to become an operative of the company. The mysterious company had several superhuman agents on their payroll, so when DL thinks he has nowhere else to run, the company offers him a spot in their organization. They operate extra legally anyway, so they could either send him on jobs out of the country, as they did with Mohinder Suresh in season two, or they could pull a few strings to get people to stop looking as earnestly for him. From here, they could either arrange for some of DL's paycheck to go towards supporting DL's son Micah, or they could imply harm might come to Micah if DL doesn't play their game. And if you think keeping DL around for season 2 would have crowded things too much, I already did a video suggesting that Hiro Nakamura should have died at the end of season 1, so there would be a hero-shaped hole in the season that DL could fit nicely into. And DL could form an alliance with Mohinder Suresh, who spent most of season 2 not sure if he should trust the company or not. These two teaming up might not be able to get any closer to rooting out the corruption of the organization, but it would be worth a shot. I think this could have been a great direction for the series to go. The show often likes shuffling around the status quo of their characters with each season anyway, so this would fit nicely in the show's MO. That's about it for this week, but I'll be back next week to say something else about Heroes. Until then, you guys have a good week.